Welcome everybody back to the Radical Marketer YouTube channel where we talk about how to leverage credit, how to leverage social media, and how to make money online. So if that interests you, smash that like button, punch that subscribe button, because I'm making videos daily. Matter of fact, three times a day and you do not want to miss it. If it's your first time on my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. It means more to me than you know. Promise not to waste your time. Give you all stuff and no fluff. Very conversational videos and full of data points in the comment section. So go ahead and subscribe right now. You won't forget it. All of my radical marketers out there, double salute to you guys. It's because of you, this channel is blowing up and becoming one of the fastest growing financial YouTube channels out in the game right now. And definitely, all of you guys watching, make sure that you are part of the private Facebook group. It's completely free to join. Credit hacks, credit tips, and it's stuff that we don't even talk about on the channel. So you wanna make sure that you uh, join that channel. Um, it's in the description below, the private Facebook group. All right, guys, without further ado, we're gonna talk about SECU. I had so many people wanting me to do a review on this credit union. A lot of you guys have seen my Navy Federal Credit Union review. You guys have seen my other credit union reviews, and you guys love these reviews because you can learn about different uh, products that you guys can get with a banking relationship. Remember, credit unions are the best way to build the banking relationship, whether you have poor credit, bad credit, good credit, or great credit. You're gonna get access to high credit funding, whether it's lines of credit, credit cards, but it's all about relationship banking. So as I cover these different credit unions that are popular, um, if something sticks out to you, let me know in the comment section. If you want me to do a specific review on a specific credit union, I'll do it because credit unions are going to be the play with the economy right now. Okay. So SECU is based out of Maryland. Uh, the nice thing about SECU is it's not geo-restricted, meaning you can join if you're in Timbuktu, South Dakota. So you can be anywhere in the nation and be a part of SECU, and you can literally join uh, right online. Uh, it's not a problem. Open an account, boom. Okay. Now you'll do you'll join an association because you're not part of. If you don't live in Maryland, you'll have to join through association. You can do that. A lot of credit unions are creating a backdoor for people to legally and ethically get into their credit union by joining a nonprofit of uh, that is aligned with the credit union or uh, an organization of some sort. Okay, um, so it's a win-win for the credit union and a win-win for the organization. So once you become part of the organization by joining with the credit union, then you're in the door. Okay, so it's super easy to do that. As so far as membership, it's a soft pull to join. SECU, so they will not hard pull your credit based on the data points that I'm seeing. Also, all of the credit decisions will be from either Equifax or Experian. I have seen both, so be ready for both. It doesn't look like it's going to pull TransUnion at all. Okay. Now, SECU, I'm going to I'm going to kind of try to keep this video as short as I can because you know I try to keep it between eight to ten minutes on all my videos. I don't like to go too long, but um, as you can see, they're going to have business. And personal. So on the personal, you'll be able to get credit cards, home loans, auto loans, student loans, uh, auto insurance, stuff like the homeowners, you know, things like that. Business, you'll be able to do commercial mortgages, credit cards, lines of credit, term loans, business checking, merchant processing, payroll, all that type of thing. Okay. We're going to dive into the credit cards and take a quick look at that. Now, uh, thing that sticks out to mind to me uh, when I was doing research with this is the credit card, all the credit cards will go up to $30,000. Um, so you're going to have the signature credit card, an elite credit card experience, earn 3x on dining, travel, Amazon, iTunes, 2x on gas and groceries, okay? Um, earn 25,000 points, and then you guys can see the offers there. I'm not really huge on reward cards that much because all the rewards can be different values and things like that, uh, but I like the high credit limits. So 30,000 is pretty good for a credit card with them. Um, then they'll also have the cash back. So if you don't want to do a rewards card and want to do the cash back, earn 2% cash back on gas and groceries. That's super economical for most people. 1% back on all purchases. I like that. The one thing that sticks out to me about all the cards is this. No annual fee, no balance transfer fee, no cash advance fee, and no trans foreign transaction fee. What does that sound like, people? Navy Federal. Okay, so Navy Federal will have the same setup. I love that. I don't like paying fees for my credit cards. You should neither become part of a credit union. You'll, you'll uh, avoid that. Then you'll have a rewards card. Your points won't expire, which is nice. Uh, same thing, no fees. Um, this is going to be a little bit uh, better entry. Now, you guys can even pull up the disclosures on these credit cards too and really see what they're charging for a balance transfer percentage or a cash. Uh, advanced percentage. Some of these keep the, the same interest rate, 
as the regular APR, believe it or not. Um, so if that's the case, then cash advances won't hurt you as much as we've been told that they hurt. There is a strategy that I'll be going over on a future video with cash advance. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you're checking out all the playlists too. Drop a comment what you guys think about this. What's your favorite credit union? Uh, engage with the video. Let YouTube know uh, that it's a valuable video. Uh, Starter Visa, if you're starting out your credit foundation, this is going to be a great card that you can get approved for easy. Secured card, this is going to be your way in the door. Remember, secured loans, secured cards. When you join a credit union, if your credit is not good, then do the secure card, do the secured loan, let it age for three to six months, and then go after the high credit card limits. Go after the personal loans and lines of credit. Okay, let's keep moving on here. I don't want to stay on the on the credit cards for too long. Um, the signature loans, loans up to fifty grand, no application fee. That's great. No prepayment penalty. I love that. So you can leverage the money and get out when you want. Always have an extra strategy when you're getting into an installment loan because you're dealing with amortized loans with amortized interest, meaning the first couple of years of the loan, you're pretty much paying interest on the loan and not the principal balance. Okay, So remember that. Um, so I like that a lot. You'll also have the lines of credit. I'm a huge line of credit guy. Why? Because you don't pay interest on it just by having it. You only pay interest on it once you start using it. It's a hybrid of a loan. And a, and a credit card. It's literally a $30,000 nest egg that you can tap into whenever you want for real estate funding, for a down payment, for anything that you want. Okay, Now, obviously, you can't take this money and put it in your uh, checking and just go apply for a loan. It's got to be seasoned for about three months, so that way the bank's not asking questions about it. But that's thirty grand that you can take out whenever you want. No application fees, no prepayment penalties. Okay, Super nice there. Uh, we also are going to have the secured loans. Guys, these are so underrated. This is literally how you manufacture an installment loan from a bank instead of like a self-lender account. Okay, Why are they better? Well, number one, you're building a relationship with a credit union to get other products from them. A lot of these self-lender accounts and things like that, you can't get anything else outside of their little credit card and their self-lender. So I always recommend get involved with a credit union, get a secured loan, build up data points, build up your credit, and then go after what you want, okay? These are gonna be a game changer. If you have a savings account, why the heck do you have it in a savings account? Put it in a secured loan, they're gonna take two to $3,000 or $1,000, whatever's in your savings account, put it into the secured loan. What does that mean? You go to SEC, you say, hey, I just opened an account, I got $2,000 with Navy Federal in that account, and I was wanting to get a loan. Can I give you the $2,000 and you open up a loan for me? Yes, they'll take the $2,000, They'll lock it so you can't use it. They'll extend a line, a loan to you for $2,000 where you can make payments on it every single month and then build up your credit, build up your credit report, okay? Very, very awesome, guys. Take advantage of that. They also have, um, I already went over that. They also have the business side of things. And I'm not really gonna go into the home loans and the, and the HELOCs and stuff like that, uh, but you guys can do that on your own time. But the business line of credit, okay? Um, that is going to be, I wasn't able to see what the actual business line of credit was, but if it's the 30,000 on the personal side, it's going to be more on the business side. Here's what you need. You need to meet all the membership requirements to become a member. Businesses must be under current ownership for at least 24 consecutive months. So it's got to be two years in business. Key owners got to be at least 20% interest. Boom. All appropriate, uh, structures. So basically it's your basic things. Two years of tax returns two years of personal um, tax returns as well, a balance sheet, um, and then also you know, making sure you're an LLC. But they have um, business emergency funds, working capital, funding payroll. Uh, they got term loans, which is nice that you can get equipment in your own business name. Commercial mortgages as well, believe it or not. That's pretty cool. Find up, finance up to 80% of the property value. Okay, that's pretty great. Um, and then the credit card. Now the credit card does not report to the Personal Credit Bureau, which is great. The They did not list what their limits are. If you guys know what their limits are, put all the data points you have about SECU. Let me know how you like it. Um, what is my opinion on SECU? I, I think they're okay. Um, I don't think that they're great. I wouldn't actually open up an account with SECU. And the reason for me is outside of the high, unless I was going after the personal line of credit and the credit cards, then that's why I would go for them. But for me, 
I can build a better relationship with Navy Federal and get a $25,000 line of credit or a $15,000 line of credit on the personal side and get a business one, right? Um, there's a lot of other credit unions that to me that add more value than SECU, but I do respect the $30,000 limit on the credit card and the line of credit and the personal loan. I like the fact that they have business credit cards. I like the fact that they're a soft pull, open membership. They're okay, they're like a B to me. Let me know what you guys think in the comment below uh, if you guys are gonna go after them. But go after the lines of credit while you can get them and uh, go after the high limit credit card funding. Like, comment, subscribe to the video. Check out all the playlists, check out all the videos. We're doing credit union reviews all month this month. You don't wanna miss it. And I'd love to hear a review on what you guys want me to review or what your guys' thoughts are and data points are on SECU. So enough of the video. I'm out, guys. Join the private Facebook group. Like, throw an emoji, throw any question, comment, concern, anything in the comment section to spread this video out. I appreciate you guys. Double salute. See you in the next video. Peace.